right now we're speaking with Chris. Uh, she's from the Grenada Coalition on the Rights of the Child. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning, now, good morning to all your, your viewers. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your organization. It's the Grenada National Coalition on the Rights of the Child. Um, we came into being through the Convention for the Rights of the Child, which Grenada ratified in the early 90s. And we're here almost as a, a, you know, a monitoring group, a, a watchdog really, to ensure that the state says what it's going to do when it ratifies a convention of that kind, which means it's going to make sure that the, the rights of children are being adhered to in, in the trial and states. Right. Now this is interesting and we usually watch uh, television and media from you know, other parts of the world where rights, especially America, where rights of the child is really pushed. And I really wasn't aware that we have such a, an institution in Grenada. Okay. So tell us about, you know, what rights do children really have in Grenada? Well, there are 54 articles in the convention. Mm. 42 of them pertain to children. The, f um, the first few were about the principles of rights of children, you know, universal rights of children. Mm. Everybody should have. And then there's the ones about survival and development which says you know, that children have a right to participate in sports and have a right to um, congregate, belong to clubs, you know, so that they're, they're developed properly. Mm -hmm. And also for survival, you know, the right to life, the right to be, to be looked after, you know, in, in a proper family or in, in, at least in a caring environment. Mm -hmm. And then there's the protection rights, you know, which is what one of the things we're talking about this morning, which is about um, being protected from you know, abuse and not allowed to use, uh, watch pornography or being forced to watch pornography, mm -hmm. okay. you know, being protected on the streets, not allowed to use alcohol, you know, because that's abuse on mm -hmm. some level. And then there's the uh, participation rights, where children, you know, are allowed to have a voice in their own, um, in what happens to them, particularly around adoption and fostering, mm -hmm. and, you know, allowed to express their views freely, you know, those kinds of rights. So there's, there's 42 of those pertaining to children's rights. The other 12 are about, you know, what the monitoring group should be doing to ensure that uh, children are given their rights. Okay, monitoring groups such as yourself? Exactly. All right. yes. How long has this uh, coalition been in existence in Grenada? In since 91 is my understanding, 91 and 92, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, good. So you're here to talk to us specifically, as you mentioned, alcohol, about uh, alcohol abuse in teenagers, yes? Y Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, we had a, we had a sm we've had a small campaign going about, <laughs> about um, you know, our, yeah, teenagers. We, we, we actually put it together, particularly for Intercol, mm -hmm. where we had a young person, Pianki Toussaint, mm -hmm. did an address for us at Intercol around children's rights and, you know, how to respect yourself, what to do to respect yourself, and, you know, a little bit about what children's rights are and who we are. And the idea of having the campaign was that it came from a press release from the Ministry of Education, particularly uh, Dave Alexander, at the Drug Abuse Awareness mm -hmm. Unit, where they were showing, you know, I have the, the uh, information here, mm -hmm. they were showing that almost 50% of young people between the ages of, I think it was 15 and 16, think that they can drink, you know, two or three units of alcohol every day with no harm coming to mm -hmm. them which is, you know, in, in direct opposition to what the health authorities are saying mm -hmm. everywhere internationally. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to highlight that really, particularly around um, sports days, because often you find young people like having a few drinks mm -hmm. afterwards, which is not a good pastime. Mm -hmm. right. Now, why do you think the, the statistics are so high for a country like Grenada? Is it our, our, our culture? What is it you think is attributing to these statistics? I think maybe we're too relaxed about the law, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think people understand that children shouldn't be drinking under a certain age. I think it's under 16 in Grenada. I thought it was 18, but my understanding is that it's 16. And also, I don't think that people who sell alcohol understand that they can be prosecuted if they sell alcohol to under 16s. Mm -hmm. So all of these things need to be highlighted mm -hmm. and reiterated, you know? So I think it's about being too laid back, really. Right, okay. So you, you think perhaps enforcing the law and, uh, and actually uh, persecuting people for selling to alcohol would, would assist? Mm -hmm. I, I think it would help. I mm -hmm. think if people understood that, you know, th th this is serious and mm -hmm. they could be prosecuted, it would help. But also I think maybe, you know, 
we need to be talking to our children much more about the, you know, the, not the evils of alcohol, but, you know, it's not, it's not a nice thing to be doing. Right. And the damage that you're doing to your system when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that it, you know, it impairs your judgment when you've had a few drinks. And you can find yourself doing things that you might not be doing when you've had a few, um, you know, alcohol okay, so, so it's drinks. bad from, from a legal perspective as well as a health Exactly, as well. and also from a moral perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what What is the coalition doing apart from raising awareness for the the use about that the use of alcohol among teenagers here? Well, that's about all we can do really mm -hmm. is raise awareness amongst young people and also amongst those who sell it. Mm -hmm. And we also have some public service announcements that we put together, and we've circulated them to you know several of the media houses, mm -hmm. asking them to promote them. And I think George Grant has been promoting them a lot for us and, and his Sunday morning program. So that's been really useful. Okay. Right. Yeah. Has there been any negative uh, incidents happening as a result of teen alcohol abuse in Grenada that we know of, at least? Well, uh, only, you know, from hearsay. People have, say, have been saying to me that they have to carry their friends home and that, you know, they've had to put people in cars and put people in buses to go home because they were too drunk to, to do that for themselves, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's not good. Do we have any sort of rehab rehabilitation centers available for uh, teenagers who are probably um, addicted to alcohol and other drugs? We have very few resources for young people mm -hmm. across the board. You know, young people who have b difficult behavior, challenging behavior, who are addicted to alcohol. We have, we have very, very little to offer. And I don't think we have very much to offer adults at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Carlton House that was for drug and, and alcohol rehabilitation. And my understanding is that's a very limited service now mm -hmm. because, as you know, Carlton House was blown away in the hurricane right, right. and it hasn't been replaced yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you mentioned um, giving something to the media houses. Uh, from what I, when we were chatting before, you said you had radio and TV things happening. What exactly? Oh, that's for our Child Abuse Awareness Month. Oh, okay. In Yes, April so is child, child Abuse Awareness okay. Month, and uh, Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month. Mm -hmm. So we're promoting, you know, again, GNCRC, and we're airing Olivia's Plight, um, no, Olivia's Cry in collaboration with the, with the Grenada Trade Centre Radio. They're airing it for us, and, you know, we're collaborating what, with them. What is Olivia's Cry? Olivia's Cry is, is a series of, of 10 minute uh, installments mm -hmm. on radio mm -hmm. about the issues of child abuse. Okay. And Olivia's Plight is a similar one, but that's on the television, and mm -hmm. that would be aired by Community Channel at some point in April with a call in. Right. Okay. And that's, is that a local production? Or? Yes, it's, okay. it's Grenadian, it's particularly nice. Grenadian. It's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Great. It's, it's slightly old, but you know, the issues are still relevant. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay, good. And what other activities do you have in, in light of child awareness? Child Abuse and Awareness Month. Um, we've had the opening speech uh, done by the chair, and we'll also be having a lot more media awareness programs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, we're collaborating with the RGPF for their Road Safety Week because right. that is another way of protecting our children. Of course, right. of course. So you know, we're collaborating with a lot of people to do several different things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is the organisation stand on child abuse? What exactly are you advocating for? Well, we are the organization who was, who was um, you know, we, we pushed very strongly for the new child abuse um, legislation that was passed in 2010. Okay. So you know, now we have to monitor that it's implemented properly. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing around child abuse in, in Grenada at the moment. Fantastic, All right. Fantastic. So it's Child Abuse Awareness Month as well as you're yeah, doing stuff for alcohol abuse in teenagers. Y'all are doing well, a lot see, right now. Well, the thing is that you mm -hmm. know alcohol abuse is we're trying to highlight that because it's another way of protecting our young people. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of all pertaining to child protection right, right, right. And, and making people aware of that. Okay. So um, over the years, you know, uh, how have you seen this affected by the presence of the coalition? Uh, I'm talking about child abuse and um, alcohol abuse. You know, has, has your awareness made a change? Has it made a difference? Well, as, as I was just saying, you know, we spearheaded the campaign, the lobby, mm -hmm. for a new Child Abuse uh, Protection Act, mm -hmm. Child, Child Protection Act, and that is now in place. And they've crea there's been a new entity created, the Child, um, Child, Abu Child Protection Authority, oh, okay, right. which has been created you know, to administer that, that law, to mm -hmm. implement it. 
So as I said, you know, that's what we have to do now is to, is to monitor and be the watchdog to make sure that that is implemented properly. Okay. All right. Well, I, think, I think we pretty much covered it. Um, is, what about our contact information if anyone wants to get in contact with you and perhaps contribute? You know. We'd be happy to hear from anybody who has any difficulties with having their rights you know, adhered to or just want to talk to us about anything about child, child protection or child rights. Mm -hmm. We're on 435-0944 mm -hmm. and we're in uh, the NDF building in Lucas Street. Okay. okay. All right. Thank, Thank you very you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Thanks very much. Thank you.